Hi folks, Rich Bassini here from rgbassini.com. I'm coming to you today to uh, give you a little, I made a, this is a two part video here because I didn't know how to incorporate the two together. So um, this is a follow on the TI-36 um, solar calculator. And what I have over here is I have a, a Google, I did a Google on it. And um, if you want to print it out in a PDF file, um, you can see it over here. This is the one I clicked on. When I click this on, it brought me to another window. I'll click it on show you. It'll say save file, but I already saved the file, so I'm not going to open it again. So here's what happens. Here, here's what it looks like over here. Because if you want to, if you want to print that yourself, I would do it. But if you look right down here, it's 30 pages. And you know, I I, didn't, I don't know about you, but whenever I get electronic things like this, I always like to have you know user manuals in some cases. You know, and I understand the stuff I sell sometimes. It doesn't always have, uh, it doesn't come with manuals, and sometimes I'll put that in my descriptions. Uh, it doesn't come with original packaging or user manuals. That's that's just the way I picked it up. You know, when you get it from yard sales, garage sales, whatever, not everybody always has these uh, uh, user guides available for some reason. But anyway, um, if you scroll down here, this is a PDF file. I use a thing called PDF Architect. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about here. Um, it'll give you the, the opening. TI-36 Solar English, right here. Uh, sorry. Gives you other information. It gives you the basic operations. As you can see here, percents, fractions, power routes. And as I said in the uh, in the first video, that um, I thought this had a battery in it, but the way I understand it, it's telling you right here in the basic operations, as you can see for yourselves, it's telling you to turn on the uh, T30, T, uh, T36X solar, expose the solar panel to light and press the AC on. So um, apparently it doesn't have a battery in there if it's working solar. Um, I, was lo I looked at this whole thing going down the 30 pages to see if they say anything about replacing any uh, calculator batteries. And uh, it's the way I understand it, um, I don't think there's any, as far as I'm concerned, I, I opened it up like I said in the first video, I opened it very carefully and I didn't see any slot for the little flat batteries or anything for a AAA battery, which looking at the thickness of it, you won't see a, a battery slot for that. But this is what you got, okay? Um, I know there's people out there I like that I would like to have the user guide and like I said, I would print this out, but again, you can see on the bottom over here, it's 30 pages. But it tells you here, you know, about the fractions and stuff like that, you know, and I guess what to use, how to use the function keys and stuff. The second function, DC thing, whatever. And you got the third. Like I said, this this stuff is over my head. <laughs> I don't use these calculators. I never had a need for them. Power and roots. Uh, logarithmic functions. I guess you give these examples too. Um, angle units. Like I said, I would pr I would have print this out, but then, you know, it'd be an eight and a half by eleven page unless I could shrink it down. But the funny thing is, though, um, you probably could get it small. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let's see if I could do this here. Um, if it works out the way planned, I'm gonna click this on, and we'll open it up. Let's see what here happens here. Okay. See, now with this one here, it prints it out like you would as a book, a booklet. But because I have a printer that print, like I said, we all, we all have printers that print on eight and a half by 11, you would have to take this here and cut it down to size if you were gonna take it with you, like, you know, put it in your brief bag if you're gonna take it to school. So you can get it this way too. But like I said, I can't print this out and trim it first. I don't have a paper cutter to do it. And not only that, then I would have to, you know, it had to be charged a little more because now you're using ink and paper and the weight of the postage is gonna go up. But this is what you got though. But again, if you do it, you save it in a file, a PDF, you can do a PDF and you can view it this way. And if you want, you can print it out yourself and you'll see what I'm talking about. But this is what you got going on here. Um, you know, if you, if, you need a, if you need a manual user's guide, you can get it offline. Um, I could put the link in there as well in the description. Well, no, actually you can't because um, the, now you're hyperlinking it and YouTube and uh, eBay's not going to allow that there, which I understand. because you're getting driven away from another site. So um, the only thing I would do is go open this window up is when you do a Google search, see up here, 
says Tieter, go to Google, type this in here, click on this, it'll show you a PDF, that's the one you want, click that on when you get to it, and then you'll be able to print out the manual. Uh, as you can see, I tried, I looked up some stuff over here, and you know, I did another one about batteries, and I didn't see anything that came up about changing the batteries for this uh, calculator. But anyway, that's what you got going on, folks. If you have any questions, please email me at rjpassini at verizon.net, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Bye.